So the practice transformation plan, which is really the heart of the, um, the oncology care model, requires that we provide the patient a 13-point Institute of Medicine care plan. And one of those is either um, survivorship care plan for patient whose trajectory is survivorship and end of life. And part of that is really when the patient actually understands that the patient has, uh, that the cancer has progressed and then the conversation starts. Um, RCCA's approach to this is doesn't matter um, as long as you know you you have spoken to the patient about cancer therapy. It may not be the metastatic type, but I think um, in any chronic disease, not just cancer, we should really have a conversation with the patient about advanced care planning. Who is their healthcare proxy? Because that is pretty much a non-threatening or non, not very um, uncomfortable um, to talk about. Um, and you know, in my family, we already have spoken about that. So the conversation is a little bit lighter rather than a patient who's you know, already uh, in palliative care or you're gonna tell the patient we're gonna start you in palliative care and don't have even a healthcare proxy. It's a big challenge. Um, OCM has really um, paved the way. We use it as really the toughest standard of care for cancer because it requires that. In the OCM model, it is very difficult to succeed if you don't have end of life palliative care that includes palliative care and hospice and actually uh, bereavement as part of its services um, to be successful at OCM because we have to think about really the patient's outcomes, which includes financial outcomes uh, for the patients, and as well as the total patient experience. Um, it has to be part of that. If you start asking about the healthcare proxy, when the time comes, you just move along the conversation and say, okay, Susie is your proxy. Now we're gonna think about, now that your cancer has progressed, what then is next for this patient? And so then if the patient is in pain, we're gonna talk about palliation. So now they, they, you really are informing the caregivers of the patients what could be next. So it's not gonna be such an uncomfortable um, conversation anymore.